What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. So last night I got the 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro. So today we're gonna do a real world hard drive write speed test. All right, let's go. Okay, so to set things up, um, if you watched my last video, um, I got the maxed out version of the MacBook Pro. Why? Because I'm uh, working on my feature film and I want to be able to carry around um, a laptop that is highly portable but also has the horsepower I need. I got the top specs on uh, the MacBook Pro which are 8 gigabytes of video RAM, 64 gigs onboard RAM, and then 8 terabytes of storage space and the top processor. Um, so, uh, you know, out of the box, I got to tell you that um, the 16 inch looks very, very much like the 15 inch. If I didn't um, have um, a comparison, I wouldn't know whether I'm on my 15 inch or the 16 inch. Um, that's just the way the monitor feels, but obviously you're getting slightly more visual space. In terms of the keyboard, um, I got to say that um, it does have a little more sort of touch and feel sensitivity, but honestly, I didn't realize the difference until I got the, this new keyboard, but I was completely happy with um, my 2016's uh, MacBook Pro's keyboard. Um, sometimes ignorance is bliss. <laughs> uh, so, all right, so let's get to the hard drive speed test. So let me tell you what the test um, involves and literally what it's going to do. So um, very, very, very just, um, you know, as if you're working. Um, you know, and actually this is something that I have to do is um, I took my two generic SSDs that are two terabytes each and I had a smaller, um, like a mini two terabyte SSD drive that I connected up, which has more of my like, um, you know, cache files for um, my editing. And it also has um, some like additional files that I'm receiving from other people. And that's how I've kind of separated it out. Um, so I wanted to put it to the test. I didn't want to just connect up one harder. So I connected up all three. And um, so I started off with one of the two terabyte hard drives, which has, you know, all my video and audio files from my feature agent two. And, um, you know, I started off just pulling in um, the, ho the whole drive. And then immediately I pulled in uh, the second drive. So when I pulled in the first drive, it um, showed about approximately one hour to, co to copy over two terabytes. And then, um, you know, when I pulled in the second one, what happened was the first drive started to approximate two hours and then the second drive started to approximate one hour. Um, and then, um, you know, I let that run. And then in the meantime, I, you know, brought in like maybe a couple hundred gigs of files from the smaller hard drive and um, that actually just copied super fast. So like copying over three hard drives at a time, I found no real notice like in lag or like my computer didn't, didn't kind of buckle under the pressure. It was just handling it fine. In fact, I was like looking and browsing at stuff at the same time, which maybe I shouldn't have been doing. <laughs> um, okay, so like I literally like a science experiment and this is, you know, if, if you've seen some of my other videos, this is how I do it. Like I was testing headphones, the, um, you know, the noise canceling ones, and I went to a really loud place and stuck a microphone in my ear and saw how it goes. Um, and uh, this is the same case with this hard drive uh, test. So, um, you know, I took screenshots and I'm gonna post them up right now. So I took screenshots of the time it was um, and then where, they, where we were in the transfer and then um, I waited like 10 minutes and then um, did another screenshot and then, um, you know, captured how, how much the was transferred at that point in time and what time it was. So a lot of this is approximation, um, but, you know, and I'm showing this actual screenshots and you can do your own calculations. But what I'm coming out to with is if, um, you know, if I'm copying two hard drives is about um, 60 gigabytes per minute. And that translates to about one gigabyte um, per second. Um, now, if I had only been calculating, um, sorry, if I had only been transferring over one drive, it seemed like, because I let the first drive run a little bit, 
that um, you know it was going to still take an hour for the two terabytes, which technically would mean then it's kind of slower. Um, so, um, you know, I think you have to take that into consider consideration that um, while I guess I've seen some articles where it's like one gigabyte per second transfers, sorry, one gigabyte per second write speed, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that if you just start copying over one drive, it's going to be like one gigabyte per second. It's more like if you kind of like use all your different throughputs, then maybe you can kind of max that out and achieve that one gigabyte per second. So, but all in all, um, I was super impressed because I think if I were doing this on my 2016, um, which I have um, done some stuff like this or, you know, moving files, um, you know, noticeably like the computer kind of like starts choking or like, um, you know, it's, it takes a while to figure out things like in terms of like the slowdown, the computer is going a little bit haywire and clunky. Um, but in this case, it was moving um, really smoothly. So um, I'm super impressed about the hard drive. Um, and uh, I'm happy with the result so far. Now, does that necessarily mean that um, it's going to access um, as well? Well, I'm going to go on and do future tests with the hard drive just to see um, how I access files, you know, loading up 4K files on my, uh, on my editing software. I'm definitely go, going to move on to that. I'm going to do testing render times. So I'm going to render out Agent 2, um, you know, my edited, um, um, you know, clip, and it'll and we'll see and compare how long it took. I have those. I have original um, render times from um, from what I have before. So we'll see what the difference is. But that's what's coming up. So I am super excited. Um, you know, uh, you know, if I am able to achieve, you know, 80% or 90% of what I kind of hypothesized about how good this um, laptop's going to be, um, I uh, will be super excited because um, it will make my life uh, that much easier. All right. So um, if you want to see those further tests, if you want to um, follow along, definitely please subscribe. Um, if you have ideas about what I should test, I will try to accommodate. Um, I've definitely tried to, um, you know, I have my own workflow and, you know, I've tried different software like, you know, Premiere Pro. Um, someone asked me for Premiere Pro versus Final Cut Pro X. I may do that, but, um, you know, I, I'm using DaVinci and um, there's a reason why I'm using it. Um, but, you know, if, if you're interested in those things, I will take a look at that, but that won't be on my top priority. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... I hope you'll stick around, leave some comments. I hope you'll subscribe, and then I'll catch you later. All right, thanks.